balcony of my quarantine hotel. It's very nice and spacious if you're the type that needs to breathe air from time to time and not just AC. Definitely do book with the Picasso with the hotel. So I absolutely love it here. But today's video is all about how to fill up your pad lab form. And believe it or not, I kind of struggled as simple as it may seem. I've gotten a lot of questions on how did I book my PCR test at the quarantine hotel? Uh, where do I book it? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be going around my hotel room so you can sort of see what it looks like. At the same time, I'm going to walk you through on what it's on how to fill up your pad lab form. So without further ado, here's the website and here's how to fill it up if you're traveling as a tourist and if you're traveling from a country like the UK, you also have to check if you're arriving from a red listed country, a yellow listed country, or a green listed country. So in my case, I arrived from the UK. Here it is! So the first thing you want to do is go to the PadLab website, which is padlab.ph and pre-register. In my case, I was traveling as a tourist, so you'll have to click travel under test purpose. Next is departing local or international. In my case, I was arriving from Scotland, so click international. Next is the type of test. In my case, I was going to have it in the hotel, so click home test service. Next, what is required is the RT-PCR test, so click that. The next one that you'll see is type of client. In my case, I've never had COVID or I don't have symptoms as well. So click for RT-PC testing, not a case of close contact. Next is type of service. So you want to do is 24 hours. Make sure you get that within 24 hours. The next is testing category subgroup. In my case, I'm not a frontliner. I've never been exposed to anyone with COVID. So just go through all the possible options. A, B, C. C is if you've had any mild or uh, just any symptoms of COVID. In my case, I selected letter D. Individuals with no symptoms but with relevant history of travel. So for me, that was the best letter to pick. Just go through all the other letters to make sure that that one suits you best. For me, that worked out just fine and I did get my RT-PCR test on the fifth day. I went back to that same page just to make sure what I clicked was correct. You can actually go through it yourself as well. I'm sure any letter that you pick will be alright. They will still show up at your hotel. They just want to make sure that the history of your whereabouts are accurate and they have sufficient details on your travels. There's letter F, letter G. This is if you've stayed with other people who have had COVID. Letter H is for frontliners. Letter I is for workers or employees of manufacturing companies. So in my case, I really was just traveling as a tourist. Once you're done with that, click next and you will be linked to the second page. Now there are only three pages to fill, so you're almost done. Click next. Once you've clicked next, you'll be linked to your personal information. So now all you have to do is fill that up, your book booking reference, which is your uh, flight details, your flight number, flight date, itinerary, your passport number. You'll also need to upload a picture of your passport. In my case, put your fill health number as well. Uh, physician, you don't need to put that because I didn't put mine. Only the ones with the red asterisk. So your name, your last name, your middle name, your birthday, and the rest of your personal information, which is your address, and uh, where you're from, and your email, your contact number. It's important to fill up those with a red asterisk. Now the last part here, you'll see COVID-19 immunization history. Do you have a vaccine history? In my case, I clicked yes, and they're going to ask for all the details of your vaccination, your first jab and your second jab. So just be sure to have all those information of your vaccine history. 
Now finally, you're going to be linked to the last page and you're going to want to go through all the information just to make sure that it's all correct. So as you see here, test purpose, personal, and just basically all the information we filled up together. Travel history, everything says no there because I haven't been exposed to people with COVID, nor did I live with anyone with COVID. And then you have your contact tracing. So the rest of the information there I just cut because it was my personal information. But you'll also see everything that you filled up there with your address, your birth date, your contact number, your email address and all that. What really is important is to fill up the information with a red asterisk. Special population. So if you see all of my answers are all no, no, no. That's absolutely normal to see exposure history as you'll see there is all no as well and then finally once you've filled up the form you'll see in the last part here your jabbing information so your first vaccine and your second vaccine in my case these are my details you'll have to input all that information and then payment method it says it's 1500 per person so if you have a pwd card or a senior citizen card be sure to present that so that you will get, I think it's 20% uh, off of the price. That's how to fill up your PadLab form. I hope this video was useful, even though it does seem simple enough to fill up the form. I hope you stick around and join me in my next video. Do message in the comment box below if you have any more travel-related questions. I absolutely enjoy replying, and I would love to help out if I can and if I know how. And I'll see you soon in my next video. Uh, you can also follow me on my Instagram and send me a, a private message, and I'll do my best to be able to reply to you. Bye!